This NA10 workflow lets you scrape an unlimited amount of targeted leads in whatever industry or niche you're in. And I'm going to show you exactly how to quickly build it in this video. This is especially useful when scraping contact information for people who aren't on LinkedIn, like doctors, plumbers, hotels and restaurants. They're less likely to have LinkedIn profiles, but there are plenty of other ways to find them. The question is, how do you do it at scale if you don't want to spend hours doing some cut and paste? As I go through each step, you'll literally just be able to copy what I'm doing and set this up for yourself. So by the time you're done watching this video, you'll be able to generate as many leads as you want and grow your business fast. Now, instead of me jumping into the technical stuff right away, let me actually give you a preview of what this looks like and show you how ridiculous this is live. In our example here, let's say we want to scrape a list of dentists in New York. Specifically, what we're looking for is a list of leads with a name, phone number, websites, and maybe years in activity, and every other little detail just like that. Then, take all of that information and put it into our trusty Google Sheets, without us really having to do anything other than getting the system to run. So, let's go ahead and do a test run of our automation here so you can see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and hit Test Workflow, and then go ahead and pull up our Google Sheet here so you can actually see what it does live. All we're doing here is grabbing the data from yellowpages.com and then it's going to extract the information and pop it directly in the Google Sheets or Lemlist. Our empty Google Sheets here is going to fill up with the leads we're scraping, which again, can literally be for whatever niche you're targeting or whatever industry you're targeting. And essentially, wherever you can find people's names and ways to contact them. Boom, there you go. Our leads have now populated the sheet here, and then what you can do is call up each of these people individually and immediately get in touch with all of them. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. For now, go ahead and actually set up this system so you can do exactly what I did to grab yourself as many leads as your heart could ever desire. By the way, if you want to put up this video on a second monitor or another device, feel free to go and do that so you can literally just follow along step by step here. First things first. Let's just go to Google and search up N8N. Just to give you a brief intro, if you've never heard of N8N, it's basically an open source workflow automation tool that enables you to connect different applications or services to automate annoying, repetitive tasks that you'd otherwise have to pay a VA or someone in your business to do. N8N allows you to design custom workflows using a super visual interface, but also extensive integrations to help you be more efficient and productive without extensive coding knowledge. If you know make.com or Zapier, it's sort of like those, but the things you can do with it are arguably even more insane. So create an account or fork the GitHub repository to self-host it. Once you're done, you'll land on a page like this. What you're going to do next is import the workflow I'm using right now so you don't have to set everything up from scratch. This is a plug and play template you can use right away. You can also export other workflows on the templates page, but we won't dive into all of these today. To get started, download the file from the link in the description and click import workflow from file. Then upload the file and you should see the new workflow appear in no time. If this looks confusing, don't worry. Be happy. I'll first explain what it does so you can fully understand how it works. Then we'll set it up to make sure everything runs smoothly. The first part of the workflow is where we tell the agent what we want to scrape. Then you'll see these loops right here. This is where the magic happens. A lot of workflows you'll find online only scrape one page. That's useless. What we want is to get all of the results. And that's exactly what this loop does. It goes through every page, not just the first one. Next, we're going to use a scrapper. You've got a few ways to proceed. You can use an HTTP node in N8N, but there are two major drawbacks. If the website is dynamic, it won't fetch everything. It only works for static websites, meaning websites that load instantly instead of gradually, element by element or block by block. Some websites have serious anti-crawlers with captures, you know the ones. Yellow Pages, for example, has a tough one. So what should you do? You need a scraping solution that bypasses these restrictions and gets everything you need. I use Oxylabs because they offer a free trial with 5,000 calls for seven days, which is more than enough. Next, you've got an AI agent. This is where most people mess up. You don't need a conversational agent or a tool agent just to extract data. Instead, we use an information extractor AI agent. If I open it, you'll see something like this. At the top, you have the scraped text. Below that, there's a JSON code. It looks complex, but it's just a structured way to define what data we want. And below that, there's the system prompt, where we tell the AI exactly what to do. In our case, we say, your goal is to extract all the companies on the page. For each result, provide company name, phone number, website, and number of years in business. 
so what's left? Well, the rest of the loop is just organizing the data and adding it to a sheet. This step isn't mandatory. You can skip it if you don't want to set up Google Sheets. Because in the end, all we're doing is pushing the leads straight into a Lemlist campaign in order to reach out ASAP. Now, you know exactly how it works. Now, before we start pulling in hundreds of leads with just one click, we need to set up a few nodes. All we actually need to do here is connect a few API keys. That's it. Super simple. First, the scraper. All the nodes that need setup have a red layout, and the first one is the scraper. I'll quickly show you how to use Oxylabs. Create an account, select the web scraper, follow the steps, set a name for your account and copy this code. This is your login. Now back to NA10. Open your node. In basic authentication, click create a new credential. Add your login and password, save it and you're good to go. Next, the OpenAI model. Go to your OpenAI account, generate your API key, connect it to NA10. You can also choose the model. ChatGPT 4.0 gives better results, but it's pricier than GPT 4.0 mini. Test both and see what works best for you. Finally, connect your Lemlist account. Click your profile, go to settings. In the left menu, find integrations. Click the blue generate button, then add a name, copy the key and paste it into NA10. The last step is to create a campaign on Lemlist and retrieve the campaign ID. When you click on the campaign and check the URL, you'll see something like this cam underscore yeah blah blah blah. You copy that and paste it into the campaign name or ID field. Now let's select what we want to scrape. Find the yellow node. Yes, like the yellow pages, double yellow. I'll search for dentists in New York. We could go for dentists, lawyers, roofers, painters, you name it. In our case, let's just go with dentists. There are two key things I need to check. One, the page URL. Copy and paste it into the website field. Two, the total number of results. This helps us know how many pages we need to scrape. At the bottom of the page, it shows 3000 results. Since each page displays 30 listings, let me do some hard math. That's 100 pages to scrape the full list. For now, I'll start with just three to show you how it works. Now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. We understand what it does. We set it up correctly. We entered the page info. Great. Now it's time to see the magic happen live. Music Maestro. Click test workflow, and now we can take a little nap. Oh, nice. The time it takes depends on the number of pages, but once it's done, look at what we get. A complete list of leads with the valid phone numbers, ready to call. Ignore the emails, you'll see them, but they're not valid. Most dentists don't check their inboxes anyway. Since we're pushing these leads into a campaign, we can now call them directly in our sales engagement platform. Lemlist recently introduced an in-app calling module, so let's test it out. Now that these people are in a campaign, you can run it. When it's time to call them, a task will pop up so you know exactly when to take action. The only thing left to do is to customize the system for yourself. Of course, you can put whatever URL you want in the scrape here. But aside from that, we can actually edit the type of data we're scraping for. If you open up the information extractor, you can change the information that you want to scrape. So scroll down here and check out the prompt can change it to add more information. As we mentioned earlier, the prompt was originally set to extract the company name, phone number, website and years in business from each lead. But looking back at yellow pages, you could also grab their address. So let's do that by opening the information extractor again. Add address into the prompt, update the JSON input scheme to include address. And if you're using Google Sheets, add an address column and drag the address into the values to send field. Depending on your product or service, any of these details could be crucial for reaching out, selling, or even just crafting the right message. Now, this is great if you're looking for leads that you can find on business directories and websites that simply give you the information you're looking for. But what if your ICP isn't on these websites? Maybe you're looking for prospects on LinkedIn and you've noticed that scraping LinkedIn isn't easy since they're very cautious about automation tools integrating with them. Rest in peace, Apollo and seamless AI. And with the method I showed you in this video, you're really just getting leads. My pleasure. So you want to grow your business sustainably on autopilot and not be totally changed your desk writing emails and cold calling. You'll need a different strategy and software altogether, which is why you might want to check out this video to find out how you can actually build lead lists and automatically do outreach, send emails to those leads 100% on autopilot. I'll see you over there.